Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's that time, it's a tarot time with Cindy, my friends. Um, I'm gonna say it, you know, it's general, so it may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, I'm glad we're able to connect. If it does not resonate, hopefully next time, my friends. So, I've already started pulling out some oracle cards and we're gonna pull out tarot cards together live on camera. Well, you know, in sync here. Um, I'm looking at your energy. I'm looking at an energy outside of you. <clears throat> I've started with the Shadow of Middle Ages Oracle deck as well as the Energy Oracle deck in this reading. So the situation of this reading is the present moment. I am reading energy as the present moment. I am being told right now it is the present moment now, right? Like that's the card that actually came out for it. What's interesting though is there's been a lot of... I've been seeing comments lately, not that I don't see them, but there's almost been like an increase of them where people are popping into some of my videos from a few weeks ago, even a few months ago, even a few years ago. And the videos either come up in your feed or they remember the video and it didn't resonate with them. But then there was a reminder about it and they went back and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe like this is like a private reading because this is resonating so strongly. But at the time, it didn't make sense to me or it didn't resonate at all. So that's what I want to say, too. You know, you have to get mad at a tarot reader when it doesn't resonate because it could in a little while. You know, time and space are very mutable beyond the 3D. So having said that, this is for whoever, whoever is resonating with this right now. It is a message for you. So who I'm reading for in the collective right now, you are on target to some type of victory. Okay. You um, are going to have success over something going on in your life, all right? Now, there's an energy outside of you that, what I want to say, it's almost like this energy is in a very dark place. This energy is in a very dark place. The moon card came out for this energy, and you can see, like, just like these hands kind of, like, reaching out. And it also got the contract card in the reverse. I don't know if this is someone perhaps that wanted to build something with you or thought that they would build something with you. You may have connected with this person in some type of like-minded community as well. Um, these also came out as the underline. The scorpion and the cross. This is really heavy energy, like incredibly heavy energy. There could be vengeance in this energy as well. Somebody could be feeling quite, quite vengeful. There is a very heavy karmic burden that is showing up as an underline for this reading. Now remember, you have victory here. You've got like, you're on target to some type of victory. If this is, I don't know, actually, I don't know what they are. I do feel like, though, that this energy outside of you is someone who either perhaps wanted to build with you in a collaborative way or somebody who may have even wanted a romantic connection with you with contract in the reverse. But this person is, I don't know, there's like these dark demons around them, to be quite honest. So I think, yeah, so now I'm going to do the cards. I'm going to pull out the tarot and let's see where this goes. <clears throat> if you guys, the collective, you are right on target for a victory here. All right, the collective, what are they on target for? I mean, I see victory. Is there something specific? Okay, you're, wait a second. Okay, You've, you have victory here. You are going, you are right on target to removing any sort of lack of ambition or drive. If you've been trying to create a routine for you that keeps things moving, if you've been struggling with any uh, financial issues, uh, neglecting any things that you need to look after, you're on target to looking after those. You were right on target here. 
and you're having victory like you have so you've got the knight of pentacles in the reverse and then for victory you have the hierophant in the upright so these are like you were on target to some type of success here in your life and that honestly it can't be denied it's like it boom it's hit it right on that's it there's no denying whatever this target is for you you've got it you've put the work and the effort in and to some degree you don't even need to put the work and the effort in anymore you just need to maybe accept this victory accept the victory allow it to to flow through you and to you and also honor it and be quite committed to this <laughs> right all right okay so this energy outside of you is the moon in its reverse contract This could even be someone who's trying to reverse spiritual contracts. They do feel very dark with all these creepy hands coming out from the pillars. This person is, ha oh, so that's interesting. This person is having a hard financial time, a, lock, a lack of opportunities. They're in a large financial risk here. Contract, four of swords. This person needs to be healing something here. Um, I don't know, this could have been someone that you had a contract with in life. They have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the moon, and then they have the Four of Swords with contract. I do feel like this per but this is the present. Wait a second. Let me pull out. The present. It's the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Misdirect misdirected development. Repressing spiritual sides. Forgetting how important effort is. But it's funny, right? Because you're showing up with having put in a lot of effort. Presently, you've put in a lot of effort in some area of your life here. And this is a victory that you're going to be claiming. And it's very much a victory in the 3D. Because you can put sort of like your planning books aside here. Your not so yeah not like don't change any routines that you're establishing for yourself don't change any routines that you're establishing for yourself here and really commit really honor yourself in this victory i kind of want to say you deserve this victory this there's this energy that's outside of you that is perhaps well it does look like by the cards it is having a very difficult time and maybe this energy is perhaps like it's coming into your reading for a reason. I feel like if this, let's call it a person, it could be a person, place or group, you know, for all I know, because you do have the community card as the underline. It could be a person here who is going through some period of healing. There's some period of healing here that they recognize that they need to go through. It kind of feels like to me, like things just continue to go from from bad to worse for this energy. From bad to worse for this energy. Because it's not recognizing the need to heal. It's perhaps being focused on outward things, over materialistic, repressing all spiritual sides. Forgetting how important effort actually is. Because you've made an effort. And you have victory, right? And this energy is perhaps not been making the effort or its effort has been misdirected. But the 32 moon here, I'm getting like five, right? Which is also a really difficult energy to sustain. This person may have been sitting in an energy that is very difficult to sustain without taking action to change it.
So Scorpion and Cross. This person could be a, or sorry, Scorpio. So the person could be a Scorpio. There could be some event that's taken place in Scorpio season. Between It's just on these cards, October 23rd to November 22nd. I know that can be give or take a day or two on either one of those. And the cross. This cross is heavy, actually. I'm going to read you the cross. There's a really significant, this, this energy is quite significant. You are incredibly significant to this person, and this person is incredibly significant to you in terms of your soul journey here. The cross card represents challenges, burdens, and a sense of destiny. It signifies the presence of difficult or significant life experiences that carry spiritual or emotional weight. This card often indicates the need for perseverance, faith, and acceptance of one's circumstances. It suggests that through facing and transcending challenges, personal growth and spiritual transformation can be achieved. Go through the life lesson, no matter how difficult it may be. Do not despair and keep the faith. The cross is a very powerful card that casts its shadow over the entire spread. <laughs> but you've got this here there is a shadow being cast i do not feel like this shadow is meant to affect you you may have even been some in some type of shadow along with this individual or this person at some point in time here and you look like you're out of the shadow you're coming out of that shadow but this person is definitely in the shadow Actually, I want to say one of the things that I would like to maybe see changed here in the comment section of my videos, when we are pulling up an energy that is struggling or it's somebody outside of us, whether we perceive this person to be like narcissistic or self-absorbed or whatever it is, I think I would like to see a bit of a shift in the collective where we could make an effort to try to send love and light to that person, to try to send love and light to that person. Because darkness towards somebody who's in a dark situation or is exercising themselves in dark energy is not going to bring any light. So how, how y'all try that? <laughs> try that one. That could be a challenge for you. It's here. It is showing up. It is a heavy burden. This is pretty heavy energy right here, right now in this reading. It's almost like... Uh, Kind of like God and the law of the universe here. Regardless and outside of what your personal opinions may be. Because those are human opinions. Alright, so now that we've covered the cross. Oh my. Scorpio is 93 and the cross is 36. They are inverted mirrors. Wow. Wow. It's like an inverted mirror, 36 and 93. If something is inverted and it is also mirrored, it is incredibly confusing. Scorpio is also here with things, you know, I mean, you could talk about vengeance, but there's also like things that are hidden as well deep hidden spiritual and esoteric there is a spiritual law here that is being fulfilled one person person is on target i do not want to say that the other individual is not on target because they have the four of swords with contract and in whatever regard this is about at whatever level this contract is this could be somebody that you worked with. This could be a neighbor. This could be a romantic partner or a past romantic partner. This could be like any gamut of relationships here. But what it is spiritually, there is a spiritual connection in this. One person has come out of the shadow and another one has not. So Scorpio, the inverted mirror. Wow. And the cross. The other thing that I'm getting with this too is like the scorpion striking, but the one thing, like the cross here, is protection also. 
I mean, well, it depends. Depend. Well, it could depend on your opinion, but I don't think your opinion matters if it's universal truth or law. Um, like nothing gets past the cross. The inverted mirror. So something's even, I feel like the universe is even perhaps in the process of doing something here to cause an inverted mirror experience to someone around you. If in any way this person has been casting or directing negative energy to you, I do feel like the cross is putting up an incredibly heavy foot down on this and the inverted mirror is being placed in front of them. So basically this person will not understand what they see. You were on target, you understand what you see. There's an inverted mirror that has been placed between you and some negative energy. <clears throat> Cross is showing up with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio is showing up with the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who is still in a learning process here. Somebody's going to be learned. <laughs> going to be learned. The community, connection with like-minded people, networking and community are important. So this could have something to do that you could know this person through community, through some sort of like-minded group. Ah. The page of wands has come out in the reverse here. So there is somebody in this group that is feeling stuck. They may feel that they're lacking inspiration. They may feel bored here. I kind of want to say, though, it, it's like it is at least for me in these cards, picking up the energy that that could be what's occurring because there is darkness and fear. And this person could be going through some type of financial instability. And I mean, honestly, too, that could cause a lot of fear in a lot of people. I feel like you are being spiritually protected here. Your dreams and wishes are not going to be dismantled or taken down by any negative energy here. It's... A page of pentacles is someone who is just sort of beginning to walk and understand very basic life lessons. Where the cross with the nine of cups presenting as an inverted mirror. It's There's no capacity to get beyond the inverted mirror until one addresses the lessons and steps needed in very basic human life lessons. You have the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Somebody around you might make you want to feel guilty about any happiness that you might be working your way towards achieving. There might be... Um, your mind is not your greatest resource. The plans that you've laid down in your life already... 
to know if this is to give you any sort of like peace of mind the plans that you have already laid down in life here have put you right on target for great success your mindset and i don't know what could be affecting it i mean maybe there's some something to do with this energy outside of you but you have an abundance of spiritual support you have an abundance of love supporting the journey it is that you are taking and with the king of cups you also have the emotional maturity to withstand almost anything so don't get in your head now the energy outside of you It's the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's the Five of Cups in reverse. It's the Five of Pentacles in reverse. All right. There is some type of lack of motivation showing up on this side here. There's a lack of motivation um, kind of forgetting how important one's effort actually is, right? You've put in the effort here. There could be someone even trying to sway you a little bit, trying to convince you otherwise. Uh, but like, it's almost like you can't get off this, this path. You can't get off this road that you've created for yourself. But it's almost like there is something standing on the sidelines or something that's perhaps trying to convince you that you are not going in the right direction. This energy is also very pessimistic. Two, the other thing, when we go into a low frequency or a low vibration, that opens the door. I had a discussion with someone. Actually, I'll discuss it with you right here, right now. Before we do that, um, it's the first time I've really kind of talked about it on my channel. But so I was so, shown something a few years ago, and it's given me a very unique insight as to the whole idea behind the veil and what we're all kind of doing here. So the veil is something that is actually incredibly important and integral to lowering the frequency and the vibration of the planet, or up, <laughs> raising the frequency and the vibration of the planet. If the veil was not in place, you would actually see what truly does exist here. And it is kind of this. You do have to be careful how much you want to see beyond the veil because you will see the truth of what exists, what energy is here on earth. If we can remember that the heavens are ruled by God and that somebody else is the keeper of earth. So if God sends all of his wonderful little angels down to try to increase the frequency of something and these darker energies feed off of fear, they identify you by fear. So when you go into fear you open up the door for these dark energies to see you. It's kind of like, too, the, um, I can't remember. I don't, I'm not, is it? No. You walk through the shadow of darkness. We're basically all walking through the shadow of darkness. But the veil is basically there. It's almost like, or I could describe it as rose-colored VR glasses. And you have been transported into this reality to increase the frequency here. But there is such darkness around. And those that choose to completely remove the veil, because nobody, there's no one here that can do that. You can't, unless you're God yourself. Um, there are people, anyways, who will profess themselves to being that, but then also work in incredibly dark malevolent malevolent energy so i feel like this person may have even gone into a darker space than the human aspect of themselves should have gone this person is specifically tried to see all of the darkness 
and understand all of the darkness. But the darkness is not necessarily there for you to understand all of it because it will engulf you. And there may be something that's gone on for this person in that way. So to have the rose colored VR glasses, it's so that as you walk through the shadow of darkness, you are not petrified. You were not in fear and you were not terrified. If you could imagine if we were walking through the reality of Earth was like the dinosaur period. Anything could eat you and consume you at any time and it towered over you. You would have so much fear and terror. And where were the mammals? They were all hiding underground, <laughs> all hiding underground until that period subsided. But if you could see what was truly around you, and you were not being shown to look at it through the eyes of God, the filter of God, the spiritual battle would be over. So this individual has gone into an energy here where they have looked so deep into the darkness that it has taken over them. This person has become pessimistic, pushy, demanding, jealous, vengeful. But there is something changing here. There is something changing here for this person. And what did I say, actually, at the beginning of this reading? I said, can we send whoever this reading is resonating for you, love and light to this person? Because that is what they need. This moon energy that they are in is very dark. This person is, to some capacity, ready to start rejoining the world. Recovering from financial loss, finding hope. This could have been someone, too, who's been doing some shadow work and dipped in extremely far into the shadows. <clears throat> that's an interesting underline the king of wands in the reverse which is quite interesting right because this energy has the king the queen of wands in reverse here so there may have even been an opportunity here There's the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands in the reverse. Tolerating things beneath your, beneath your personal standards, um, immersed in some type of very messy situation that you may have yourself also become blind to. It is underlined, so I want to say it's something that you're getting past or you've already gotten past. Being insecure in your leadership, distrusting yourself, arrogant, a needy ego. There's two, it's kind of funny, there's honestly two counterpart energies here. And they both show up that you've both experienced the negative aspect of who you are and who you can be. And you are definitely on target here though. But your mind, I want to just clarify that, why you have the Nine of Swords. This energy is coming out of that. The Nine of Swords. Why does the Collective have the Nine of Swords? Strength card. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You're trying to think with your heart. <laughs> You're trying to think with your heart. You need to know with your heart. 
and let your mind rest. Honestly, I mean, that's kind of how I see it. You need, to, you need to know with your heart and let your mind rest. The moon, this energy outside of you. Oh, what did you just knock down? Oh, what is that stuff? That's ice. Yo, dude, you're all wet. It's all wet and snowy. Mm -hmm. It's all wet and snowy, Leoie. Goodness. Oh, he just watered the cards. Maybe he was purifying them. He anointed the cards. He anointed the cards. All right. Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, this moon card is taking on the energy of somebody who is kind of wanting to establish or become a strong leader, but through other people's resources or other people's business here. This person is maybe a strong leader or has felt like a strong leader through other resources beyond themselves themselves or and or this may even be this person may be or has experienced a lack of partnership here or a dissolvement of partnership and maybe that's between you and this person but the four of swords is here this oh remember i said the moon is three and two it makes a five but their two fives are in the reverse their five of pentacles has come out in the reverse again the knight of cups in the upright this energy is healing something quite profound but it's been pretty dark the knight of pentacles in the reverse the two of pentacles the queen of cups in reverse the knight of pentacles in reverse this person may have even utilized different plans to try to emotionally manipulate or there might have been some emotional manipulation going on here with resources and a lack of planning well then collective i am going to go do the extended in the extended i'm going to see what these two energies combine and create you know, even if you're not connected with this person anymore, it's still creating an energy for you. You're creating an energy for them. And yeah, we'll see how that all goes. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.